create a RAID 5 volume in Windows Server 2012. You can come to your disk management under storage. As you can see here, I've got um, two unallocated disks here and another, a third below. In order for RAID 5, you're going to have to have three or more disks. First thing you want to do is make sure that the unallocated disks are dynamic. If it's not dynamic, it says basic, right click and convert to, it'll say convert to dynamic. Once all three unallocated disks are converted to dynamic, point to one of them, click on new RAID 5 volume, click next. Here you're going to see your other two disks along with disk 0, add, add the disks that you want. Click on next, you can assign a drive letter mount it in the as a um, empty MTFS folder or do not dry, uh, assign a drive letter format the drive you can do you, know, you have different options here but for our purposes we're just choosing a typical MTFS default allocation unit size and we're gonna you don't have to name it here you can just leave it new volume but we're gonna name it for management purposes, it's easier. I'm just going to choose a quick format. Click on next and finish. The amount of time that it takes to completely format it is going to depend on how large your disk sizes are. Once the volume has created, you can go into File and Storage Services if you have it installed. If not, you can go up to Manage and click on Add Roles and Features and add the File and Storage Services. You might want to also add the underneath the File and Storage Services, add the data deduplication. As you can see here, I've got the D volume with 3.64 terabytes of raw space. And I'm going to go ahead and right click on the volume and configure deduplication. You can uh, choose if you want to, you can add certain folders or extensions that you don't want to dedupe. Then you can go into the um, optimization settings and you can choose dates and times when you want to run deduplication. You might want to set this on off hours or when the server is not using a lot of resources. And just click OK and then OK again. And then your volume is now set for deduplication.